Hey, I'm PH and welcome to Good Bible Knowledge with PhD. In this set of videos, I want to provide an enjoyable and helpful way to understand common questions about the Bible. I hope you'll find these videos helpful for your own spiritual journey in Jesus. Let's get started. What is the significance of the Ten Commandments? Israel now was brought as a nation before the Lord at Mount Sinai, and Moses ascended to the mountain as God had commanded, and it was here that God gave Moses the Ten Commandments. These commandments were to be the moral and ethical foundation of the nation of Israel. These, along with several other laws, composed the nation's constitution. They represented the righteous standard for a nation set apart to serve and worship a holy God. And it was by striving to live according to these laws given by God that the nation of Israel would bring the blessing of God to all nations. And when Moses read these laws to the people, they entered into a covenant with God which would come to be known as the Mosaic Covenant. God called Moses to the top of Sinai again for forty days and nights, where he gave him instructions on how to build the tabernacle, the central place of worship for the nation. This tent structure would be symbolic of the physical place where God's holy presence dwelt with his people. God's presence would be represented by a cloud that hovered over the tent by day and a fire by night. Whenever the cloud would move, the people would follow God, and whenever the cloud remained, the people would remain. This would be symbolic of actively following the leading of God. During the forty days when Moses was on Mount Sinai, the people became impatient in his absence, and they urged Aaron, the brother of Moses, to make a golden calf an idol that would represent the strength of God who had delivered them. This was in direct violation of the second commandment, do not fashion an idol and do not worship an idol. Knowing of their rebellion, God told Moses of the consequences of their disobedience. They would be destroyed, and God would rebuild the nation through Moses himself. Now Moses pleaded before the Lord on behalf of his people for God to be merciful and spare the Israelites from utter destruction. And as Moses descended from Mount Sinai, he heard the sound of their idolatrous celebrations. And he took the tablets of the commandments and broke them to pieces, indicated that the Israelites had broken God's holy law. And then Moses destroyed the golden calf, showing that idols are nothing. And God brought judgment upon the people, killing 3,000 of them. God then spoke to Moses again and said, You must leave this place and go into the land that I promised to give you. I will send an angel to go before you, but my presence will not go with you because of your rebellion. When the Israelites heard these words, they responded with a nationwide repentance and weeping. When the people showed their genuine repentance, God relented and chose to remain with his people. This episode in Exodus illustrates the importance of the law and the tabernacle to the nation of Israel and its future. As God's chosen people, they were to be a light to all other nations of the holiness of God and the presence of God among them. Another very important element of this episode is the intercession of Moses. We see that the consequences of violating God's holiness involves not only the forfeiture of God's presence among them, but it demanded the total destruction of the nation. This is the justice of God in accordance with his holiness. And Moses stood as the one lone righteous man who pleaded on behalf of his people. And because of Moses' humility and righteousness, God spared his people from the consequences of their sin. And this is a reminder to us that though we deserve death as a punishment for our sin, Jesus, through his humility and righteousness, has provided a way of salvation and forgiveness through his death on the cross and his resurrection from the dead. It also indicates that God responds mercifully when we genuinely repent and humble ourselves before him and accept Jesus' provision for our sin. And finally, this episode gives us a hope that by faith we can be declared righteous before God and we can enjoy God's presence forever. Thanks for listening to another episode of Good Bible Knowledge. We'll see you next time.